Good afternoon, or good evening, I should say, or should say good morning. It's midnight right now. This is Dr. Gaze 101. Welcome to my YouTube and Pitch Simulcast Together. Uh, I'm your YouTuber, Dr. Gaze 101. As the title states about my review or overall review of the Halo Infinite game, I know I shouldn't be saying much about it right this second because it's still coming out with content, quote unquote content. And uh, my peers, or at least my younger peers, uh, they convinced me to, you know, talk, not talk about the matter, but to agree with them that the fact that Halo Infinite is at least, or well, should I say at best, dead average. And yes, that's all it is, to Halo Infinite. I thought when playing the campaign, now I didn't finish the campaign, I will admit that I'm still currently on like the, what's it called, the third, if not the fourth boss. Right before, not right before, but was these two bosses. Yeah, the one is in the chopper. The other one is in the uh, what's that called? In one of those uh, other vehicles. I, that's how that's how memorable it was. But I remember the chopper. The chopper was coming after me every time. And you figure when it comes down to these bosses in the game, it should be like not not too challenging, but challenging enough to, to get get by in, into the game the first few times. It seems like it's just as hard as they play on legendary. That's how a bad. That's how normal mode is like legendary mode. I can't imagine how legendary mode is. And I have to say though, it's uh, not a downer, but it's just that it is what it is, right? You know, it's uh, I don't know what to say about the game. It just sucks. It's just some sometimes. It's just when I played the campaign, all the first what couple of hours was interesting because you just heard about the new story, uh, the new Cortana. Now she's called the Weapon. Then the then the. Uh, the, the guy with the beard like I have on, you know, he had, he helped uh, Master Chief to get some other other places on the planet of Planet Halo or the new Halo, technically speaking. So from what I could tell, before the it was released to the public, the the game before November 2021, Halo is supposed to be like a a soft reboot slash sequel, but at the same time a little bit of a prequel. I know it sounds like a mixing mixing all these three terms together, a, a prequel, a reboot. And a sequel at the same time because they kind of scrapped the Halo 5 storyline from for this Halo Infinite game. So it's kind of like you're playing in fuckery, you fuck around. You're playing a cluster fuckery. Like it's, I know I should be saying all this foul language and shit like that, but it's a point where it's like the game is like, it's not immersive enough. Or the campaign, excuse me, is not immersive enough, excuse me. But the multiplayer, I have to say, I'm satisfied with Team Slayer or ranked Team Slayer. You know, but the same time, the downside to it is that after six months, the levels restart itself, so you don't keep your levels. Or if you try to reach a maximum level, then they'll restart and keep track of the season that you did, and then that's fine. But I, this, I don't see no rec recollection or or collection of data publicly that this shows that I did these previous season or seasons. So we're up to season two right now. It's now September 2022, approximately. And it's been four months at least, or four, three and a half months now, since the May 2022 uh, second season, which is the second season of the entire Halo Infinite game of online playability. And you know what's the downsides to it of the Halo uh, online playability? If you want to increase your rank or progress with the EXP points, it makes it matter. You have to decide between playing with your friends uh, through, uh, you know, through whatever the multiplayer is, or... If you want to rank up in the Lone Wolves, you have to play by yourself with other strangers, let alone just by yourself when it comes to the progression of the of the progress. And I think Solid Rev, I know I shouldn't have mentioned him directly, but Solid Rev, I think he did a review about Halo as well earlier this year. And I can't blame him, especially with Vitek USA, Dreamcast guy, uh, perhaps Alpha Omega Sin must have mentioned it. He started making more videos recently, so probably first few months in the how many years since Alpha Omega Sin made a video, so surprisingly. Welcome back, Alpha. Uh, so anyway, get back on point. Uh, it's to a point where Halo Infinite is not really there, but at the same time, it's okay sometimes. I'm, I'm caught in the middle of it all. One side is saying that it sucks balls, it's horrendous, it's the playability sucks, and the connectivity of other players sucks too, while the other side is, sat, is kind of like, meh, it's okay to play, and I'm like, whatever, I was playing, so let's play anyway. And I'm like stuck in the middle of it all. Like, like, I'm stuck right, right in the middle. 
And it's like, that's how I am right now with the game. It's, like, it's good on one hand, on the other hand, it's not that great. It's not up, up to great exponential expectations. So it's to a point where it's like, man, what to do now? <laughs> oh, sure, I have have at least over 300 games to choose from. I paid for it, not, you know, through the Game Pass or through Xbox Games with Gold. It used to be called Free Games with Gold, to those who are well aware back in the day. And uh, it was worth having the Xbox One for a while. But then I got rid of Xbox Snap and App, Xbox uh, OneDrive, and it's like I need the OneDrive to transfer my data to and from my Xbox to my computer. But I just try to reduce down the quality and also the uh, sharing of data between, between the Xboxes, between people like me. I feel like I'm like blacklisted on Xbox Live because I cannot change my settings in some areas. It'll be like it will not be highlighted and things about it. It's another story of its own. But um, yeah, Halo Infinite, okay multiplayer. The campaign is born, if not at best, painstakingly average. It is time for uh, Halo, uh, 343 Industries, and hopefully one day Bungie will come back to set their senses to fix not fix but to revamp, recreate. Start from scratch of Halo, like like on, on set, like a new generation of Halo games we never played before, uh, and new story maybe not too different, but just no, not like the Halo TV show. That's a little too much right there with the best. I'm fine. I heard I don't want to watch it to like episode say three of the Halo TV show, so I still got more to go to watch it. So if I can find the episodes for free though, <laughs> I'm not gonna spend six dollars for. Paramount Plus just to watch Halo TV. I was like, do the seven day trial, fourteen day trial, whatever. No big deal, right? So, guys, my total review, my 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 review of Halo Infinite is a dead average six point five out of ten. Um, <laughs> what comes to the campaign? I should say the six point five. Multiplayer is about seven. 7.25 give or take out of a 10 and uh, it's to a point where it's like guys just hang in there for the other seasons if not I can understand you know it's a uh, it's a drip 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 it's just a drip of content little by little and it's like it's boring after a while I was sure I still play it every so often but I only play once over a few days on average for the past what three months now prior to that I was playing it every day for about an hour two hours at the most and that's about it. I used to play Halo 3 at least three hours a night every night during the weekdays when I'm like off from work because I work a full time job back then. And on weekends I'll play like maybe like I know between at least five up to like 15 hours a day. Depending upon my schedule on my days though. Because I'm not because I was still I was an adult back when Halo 3 came out and when I was like 20 years old. And it came out back in September 2007 so by March of 2008 I was working at my, at, at my uh, department store, furniture store. Um, I was like 20 years old, if not 20 and a half years old, give or take. So it's a uh, it's a good experience. Halo 3, both the campaign, both the multiplayer together, they're great. Like 10 out of 10 easily. But with Halo Infinite, it just went from a downgrade, a huge downgrade. Now I would sh I should have mentioned this to my confidant, my gaming confidant, the colony. Uh, Enjoy Gaming 117, um, which you guys see in the in the, uh, in the chats of the streams, whatever. But uh, I have to admit this to these these guys that I'm t I'm interacting with on Xbox. They are they are telling the truth about what Halo Infinite is like. I will admit to I will admit my 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 senses. You know, admit to my denial of the of that matter because I thought they're gonna make something good of Halo Infinite after the. No, uh, what's it called? The December eighth launch of the campaign, because they 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 early, they early released the multiplayer back around November fifteenth of twenty twenty one to mark the twentieth anniversary of Halo, uh, of Halo and Xbox all together. Without Halo, there's no Xbox. No Xbox knows no Halo. And now that Phil Spencer came out earlier this year or last week or two. Saying that he wants to re not revamp, but to uh, entice people to play more PC via Xbox Live experience. So instead of having the console on the Xbox One, now you have the computer. Now you have the the smartphone. And all you know, you don't need the actual console anymore. And that's what he mentioned that sooner or later the future generations of uh, gaming 
it's going to be um, no console uh, involved or doesn't have to have a console involved. And that's very scary, right? Because, because the, the idea of video games, it comes from a console. And uh, the first console came out was back during the Odyssey back in, what's it, about 1970, 1976, 1975 approximately. So it's been about 50 years almost. So that's my take on the matter at hand. I hope you guys understand, understand where I come from. I'm sure there's plenty of other gamers out there looking at me like, yeah, Charles, you should have thought about that years ago. Well, not months, yeah, years ago, about, I would say six months ago, excuse me. Well, I think of years, you're thinking of going back. People would say that, that it was starting to go downhill since Halo 4, especially when FIFA 3 Industries took over. I was like, okay, understood. So, excuse me, I have dry mouth again. So, all right, guys, um, please, thumbs up, subscribe and share, you donate, everything's down below the description box. If you cannot donate, that's fine, you just share my videos around, all right, guys? And I'll see you in the next video, and I might do a Black Desert, if I could re the that game, with you guys, see how, I didn't do much progress with Black Desert. I could do a stream of it, for play for about two hours, three hours. I'm not sure yet. I also got the Prince of Persia thing I told you about I was going to do earlier last this week or last, last week. Sorry about that, but if you are interested, feel free to comment. Tell me what you, what's, what's up. What do you want from me? Or what is it you want me to play? Or do I suck? Or am I, am I immersive enough to talk about these things? All right, guys. I'll see you around. Bye.